turn to meteorologist Christopher Nunley for a check in on our forecast. We get a live look out here on Bellingham Bay, even here looking a little it's, hazy. Yeah. And normally this is one of our best bets to see clear skies even on a hazy day. Yeah, that wildfire smoke is just continuing to move into the area. It's going to stick around throughout the entire day. So if you have any plans today, you want to limit your time outdoors and consider just wearing a mask. I mean, the smoke is thick out there this morning. We go from Bellingham a little bit farther south into Snohomish County. Good morning, Granite Falls. We're seeing some smoke moving into the area. We can't even see the mountains in the background. Notice that orange hue to the sky. This is that wildfire smoke that just continues to push into the area, and we're seeing that here in Seattle as well. All parts of western Washington seeing that smoke move into the area. Air quality alert in effect right now. Most areas have dipped into that unhealthy uh, category as you move into the Cascade foothills near the north coast as well. And around Puget Sound, we are in the moderate category, expecting the air quality to decrease throughout the day. So again, we have that air quality alert in effect. No matter where you're located, no matter what air quality you're seeing right now, just try to limit that time outdoors. It's really nice out there in terms of the temperatures. You'd want to have the cup of coffee outside or do a morning jog, but you don't want to do that with all the smoke in the area. It's 43 in Shelton, 49 in Bremerton, 59 here in Seattle. We're going to be back into the upper 70s and lower 80s this afternoon, already up to 75 in Seattle by lunchtime. Again, getting into the lower 80s by around 3, 4, 5 this afternoon. From Everett South, a really good chance to get into the 80s this afternoon, possibly a little bit warmer for southern parts of Puget Sound, southern Mason County, getting into the mid to upper 80s, 70s out near the coast. Notice, speaking of the coast, we're still tracking Hurricane Hillary, a Category 1 hurricane came, but notice that moisture feeding well to the north of this system into parts of the Intermountain West, including all the way into parts of Idaho and Montana right now. It's kind of feeding in between this area of low pressure that is off to the west and this big ridge off to the east is just kind of funneling north. And this is actually going to create rain chances for parts of eastern Washington as early as tomorrow afternoon. These are the remnants of Hillary that moisture streams north. Notice by Monday at 3 p.m. southeastern parts of Washington seeing some rain. And that rain could move towards Spokane Pullman as we move into Tuesday morning. Great news with all the fires going on around Spokane. Not going to be heavy rain, but even a tenth to two quarters, uh, uh, say a tenth of an inch of rain to a quarter of an inch of rain would definitely help with those fires. So we'll keep a really close eye on that and then focus on our coast. We're going to see another system move in. This will increase the rain chances around western Washington by Tuesday afternoon. Not going to be a washout. Not everybody going to see the rain. But by 6 p.m. on Tuesday, could see a couple of showers around Seattle, Puget Sound, as well as the Kitsap Olympic Peninsula, and that could continue into Tuesday evening, possibly Wednesday morning. Again, not a big rain chance, but at this point, we will take anything we can get. 75 Tuesday, 77 for your Wednesday. We're back up to 82 with sunny skies on Thursday. Jake?